You know we opened our doors. We were the first to open our doors to the world after COVID. And since then, we are, our numbers has plummeted over 10%. And I don't think we have seasonality anymore. That's not part of our vocabulary. You know, people are coming all year round. So we got a head start on everybody else. And you know, we are a high-end destination. We have a good product. We make sure that our people, they have the best experience from the time they arrive until the time they leave. And I came over on the plane, I was on a JetBlue from New York, the plane was full, um, and a real interesting mix of passengers, I have to say, Minister, including lots of families. And not only are you appearing to be an all-year-round destination, but you also appeal to a very broad range of demographics and segments. Yes, we do. Um, we are a multi-island destination. Some of them are not staying here in Providenciales. Some are moving to South Caicos. They want to go diving or to Grand Turk. Also, hey, a lot of people are, a lot of visitors are now um, visiting the North Caicos and Middle Caicos. We have the caves here, and we also have Mujan Harbor, one of our best beaches. We also have, um, I don't know if you were on the trip yesterday. I missed were you that able one, to visit Mr. Courtney's farm? I heard it was the experience of a lifetime. And that's part of my government's mandate also, is to help our farmers. We have 18 registered farmers, including some young farmers. And Mr. Courtney Missy, he, he had a head start on everybody else, but he's doing very well. You can go there, you can get a nice fresh glass of cane juice, you know, plus this warm hospitality. What more can you ask for? And I think that leads me to my last question, which is just how important sustainability is to Turks and Caicos. And I think that's a great, great example. What else are you doing on the islands to, to really support your aims? We're trying to control our environment. Um, we have the third largest reef in the world. And I'm so happy that we were able to um, acquire the assistance of some NGOs from the UK, namely the Darwin Plus um, and JNCC the Blue Belt organization. They're here on the ground. They provided us with um, manpower and they are out there helping us maintain our coral reefs and our entire marine area. Minister, we're so excited about the, the coming days at SOTIC. Thank you for giving us your time today. It's my pleasure. Good to see you again. It's not gonna be the last one, but I hope to see you next year. We're working on it. Thank you.